Coyotes have become a normal part of Florida living over the years. As their numbers grow, so does the concern over whether they are safe to be around. And now, residents of Juan Hernando County community are taking to social media. They say coyotes have taken over some of their neighborhoods. Some of them are even afraid to go outside with their pets. Eight on your side's Paul Mueller is live in Spring Hill tonight with that story. Paul. Yeah, Jen, neighbors saying that the coyotes don't just hang out here and hide in the bushes. Instead, they're out here on the streets. And imagine this, in the front yard, then the family pet turns up dead, sometimes missing. But tonight, we wanted to know the big question, are coyotes really to blame? Well, I had my dogs out here, so I had to pick them up immediately and took them inside. Well, Fredo Lopez, afraid of the coyotes lurking in the woods right across the street from his house. Are you scared for your animals? Oh, of course, of course, definitely. It's uh, who won't be scared? I'm scared for my kids. For his so three Yorkies small, and two kids. All this as residents take to Facebook, sharing pictures of their family animals, either dead or missing, while the coyotes, bold and brazen, even approaching people. FWC says trying to control the coyote population doesn't work. That the coyotes are afraid of people until people unintentionally feed them. And that changes its typical diet of rats, mice, and trash. And pets now on the menu. There is no known way to, to effectively control coyote populations. Trapping is ineffective. So what is effective? You, they say, taking an active role that's in what, protecting that's, that's, that's your pets. The biggest misconceptions are that coyote populations can be controlled. Other misconceptions as well, FWC says, that coyotes will turn on people once they eat the pets. It, now it's you a know misconception. That. Now, I know that. You, right. yeah, yeah, now I know that. Now I know. Still, that's no consolation to Wilfredo's 11-year-old. Wow. What would it be like if the coyote ate the dog? I'll cry. Indeed, you would. Now, FWC says that there are several myths about coyotes, that they are extremely dangerous, that they need us to survive, and that they can be totally eliminated. All of that, the FWC says, not true, Jen. And Paul, I know the residents are telling you that they're afraid these coyotes will move from attacking their pets to attacking people. I mean, any reason they should be concerned about that? No, there's no concern at all. As a matter of fact, you know, we've been reporting, and there are lots of cases reported about coyotes attacking pets and other animals. But in fact, there are only two documented cases right now where people have actually been attacked by coyotes, Jen. And none of those have been in Florida, right? And no cases, no cases at all right there, law enforcement here in Florida. Paul Mueller, live in Spring Hill for us tonight. Thank you, Paul.